Hey, orange one here, and uh, we're back at the ant hill. You're probably wondering why. Um, and it's actually been so long since I last recorded, I had forgotten that the Holy Nation is hostile to us now. But they're attacking the ant hill. Um, I was trying to uh, take care of as much as I could um, with you guys off camera. So that we could kind of get to the fighting after we've made my cyber army. But then these guys decided to attack. And so, yeah. Are you guys going to attack that group of... Uh... What I would really like to do is have Jazz aggro them. And look, these Fogman heavies are going to get involved in this. Yeah, get in there. Get in there. I think some heavies got some hits in there. Uh, Jazz, do I want to let you uh, attack that Chosen? Yes, I, I'm going to let you attack that Chosen. Then we're going to fall back because uh, that group is looking a little too big for you to handle. Um, that was very effective though. It looks like they're at least one of the actual Paladins is actually down and he's pretty badly hurt. So. Nice. Um, I think we can clean up the rest of them. So Jazz, why don't you just run in indoors? We'll open up the gate for you and then we'll just funnel these guys into the, the kill box. Man it. Um, how have you guys been? I've been lost in the Bannerlord world. I don't know if I communicated this well enough, but I do want to start playing more Kenshi and get back into it. Um, I am kind of feeling a little bit done with this series i might start up another series um with like some mods installed so if you've got some mods that you think i should check out put that in a comment down below because i i do really like this game i just kind of feel like this factions kind of beat the game you know what i mean like look the holy nation they just sent uh, a what is this a holy assault and we just decimated it we didn't even have to try I mean, I did have to run Jazz back here to uh, distract a little bit, but um, yeah, it was it was not a difficult uh, task. Let's get everyone back on their jobs, because I had turned people off of their jobs while this was all happening. Um, can we keep that closed, though? I would like that closed. And they've got all junk gear. Oh, also, I uh, thought you all might get a little... Uh, laugh out of this. We've got a little guest star here. I was just re trying to recruit uh, some soldier drones before the that assault because I was a little nervous at the, about the numbers that we were looking at there. Yeah, you guys are gonna just get shot, so I'm not even gonna bother. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh look, it's the number. Sorry, dude. That was that was brutal. There was like six bolts like that like, got launched at that dude all at once. Oh, there we go. And where's the second volley? There we go. Man, it seriously is like a volley. It's like a little, like, machine gun fire. You hear that? Oh my god. Like, three or four of them get launched at once. Yeah, this is... This is not a good place for you to attack. Uh, Y'all should be a little bit further back while they're about to get shot. Just give them a minute. Yeah. Looks good to me. I'm pretty happy with that result. Uh, yeah, so basically what I've been doing is um, trying to get people a little bit more fed at Fort Monroe, and I managed to do so. Uh, please don't crash game. I'm going to do a little quick save. Uh, I've had some issues with the game crashing a little bit today. I'm not sure if I was just flipping between too much stuff. I also was having something process uh, with uh, the video editing program shortcut like at the same time so I think I just kind of overloaded my CPU or something like that momentarily I mean the CPU can handle a whole lot I think it was just a little too much at once um so yeah we do still have a hunger problem I did send out uh like Tanishi I don't know if you're back here you are I sent him out and he went and got a ton of meat here like an insane amount of meat um I don't know if you're cooking said meat right now. It does not look like you were. But we'll... Dude, 
yeah, let's do something like that. And that should end up stocking this up with the dried meat. It looks like someone may have already been working on it. And we got some ration packs. Oh, yeah, we looted those. I remember. I think we looted those. Didn't we loot those from, like, uh, the traders or whatever? In any case, we have some food. So our food situation is at least temporarily resolved. We've got a pretty good stock here. And unfortunately, yeah, we can't put raw meat in that container. I would otherwise. But yeah, um, we got the whole food thing taken care of for the immediate. Our power situation is a little bit bad right now. Uh, we ran out of power, which caused us to stop producing food, which caused our generators all shut down. Um, I do have, it looks like a little bit of fuel that was getting produced there. Um, we actually have a number of hemp's there. But, yeah, actually we have some green fruit. We could turn that green fruit into some fuel as an option. I've also been, as you can see right here, um, just putting up a ton of these things. And as they get put up, we should be able to make more iron plates. And that should resolve our issues there. Um, here, I do want to uh, acknowledge the idea of sending food from the copper mine back here. Um, I've forgotten who exactly proposed that. I think it was like TIC or Lynx or someone like that. Um, it's a good idea. It totally would work pretty well. Our one... It, let's see, where where are they? Let's go to... It's not for, it, I, Are they in Fort Monroe? I think like the font size got changed on me or something because... Yeah, I'm just now realizing. I'm pretty sure the font is smaller now. It's like the normal font size. Um, something weird happened when we imported over from the other computer, my old computer. Um, I just kind of wanted to check how are we doing in food production here. We've got a ton of cacti. Um, and we could make a ton of chew sticks. I think we probably should do that. Seeing how, yeah, we've even got tons of cacti out here. Um, are you just standing there? No, you're not. An electrician, you're not just standing there either, are you? You are. Oh, but you're stuck. A uh, copper miner, can you just unstuck him? That'd be nice. I do think it would be a good idea to get some stockpile of food over here. And seeing how this does actually have some good water production, we may want to do that as well. Oh, also, I upgraded to Wells 3. I don't really know why I did that, to be honest, because... We could just build more wells. I've kind of talked about that before, but uh, I think that we might want to do that. I don't know. Are you actually gardening right now? Yeah, I think you're gardening and then you're going to cook, right? Are you the cook? Or who's the cook? Are you the cook? No, I don't see anyone being the cook. Where's the... I don't know. Electrician, sorry, just for a minute. Just come up here. And then I'm going to assign this job to you. And if you can, please do said job. Because we need the food so we can ship that over as needed. And chew sticks are like pretty much the worst food in the game. But that's fine. Also, let's go and show you our efforts towards uh, the cyber army. Uh, Red main, I believe was the one I sent. Yes, Redmain's got all these crazy cybernetics over here. Um, like, totally insane overpowered cybernetics. And we've got our sake being produced over here by Jack. Uh, we're still waiting on green fruit. Apparently we need water for that. Oh, we have water. Oh yeah, this was the issue that we were having with um, things. Can I just no, I can't uh, put those back. That would not make any sense, yeah. Uh, storage for rice weed. I think we need a little rice weed storage in here somewhere. Can I do it outside? No, it won't let me do it outside. Okay. Let's do rice weed there and naturally green fruit uh, next to it. Something like that. This place has got to be a little bit cluttered because we've got such a small place. Um, you don't have any building materials. We have building materials right there. Um, Jack, 
Maybe you should just put these down if you can. Yeah, if you've got water, please deliver it to the crop that needs it. There we go. Doing things a little bit smarter now. That's good. Cool. Okay, so Jack is taking care of some stuff. And I also wanted to not want to work on getting those cybernetics actually installed on someone. Um, Pet is feeling better. Not great, but they're feeling better. Oh, you needed a left arm. Oh, the holy off salt ended. Yeah, I, I suspected as much. Oh, also Pet really needs some food. Like, really bad, actually. Um, red main. Why don't you go trade with Pet? And you can give that arm to Pet. And then I'm not sure who else I want to give the good cybernetics to as of right now. Um, I mean, Trill, you're here and you have actually been a very loyal uh, commenter and whatnot, so I feel like you should get upgraded. I'll do you up before Silas. That's how, that's how much uh, your viewership means to me. Your continued loyalty to the Hive. Uh, get in there, and actually, we're gonna have someone else put you in there. Look at you, you're so excited, aren't you? Uh, pet, nope, hold on, Trill. Uh, pet. I'm selecting the wrong one, there we go, pet, go ahead, put him in, and then actually, Trill, just really quick, if I could... Oh no, this is going to be kind of annoying. Um, let's do like so. And I don't think we're going to be able to do much else, unfortunately. Maybe. No. Maybe like that. There we go. Let's, let's take that arm off. He's not going to die from bleeding out from this, but I might just leave him. Yeah, guys, just just leave him. He's fine. Trill's going to be just dandy. We're just going to wait down there just for a little bit. It's, it's fine. Let's close that just so they stop running up. It's just we got to micromanage this a little bit. Oh, no, they're going to come in uh close and lock it nope 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 bad 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 a trill's not gonna die out immediately it looks like pet actually might be able to uh these guys let's come down here you're fine Uh, take their jobs off. Actually, I think that is going to be our easiest, is to just say, no, don't do your jobs. Never mind, they're still doing their job. Okay, I think we're just going to have to micro these three. Uh, I would like to see Trill. Of course, it's going to be annoying and not let me like look at Trill while this is happening. Yeah, just let that keep on going. Guys, just stay back, please. I'm just gonna keep an eye on him, like, visually. And that right arm is... yeah, it's, I can kind of see it. It does make me nervous seeing the head, the stomach, and the chest getting hurt, to be honest. So I'm going to let the other um, parts get healed up just for a little bit. I know I'm being overreactive because it it's completely unnecessary in this game. Okay, they're going to start healing him, and he's going to actually lose that arm pretty soon. I don't think I even need to really do anything at this point. Yep, there we go. Uh, Silas, take him, pick him up. There we go. Put him down. Oh, and he fell through the floor. 
Sorry about that, Trill. Um, but now you've got yourself a new uh, new right arm that you can get from Redmain right here. And you should be a super fast boy now. You'll be able to hit real hard. Cool. Now I just need to do that like 10 more times. <laughs> and get the finances for that. Which I probably will do in between uh, recordings. We'll see though. Um, you guys can start doing your jobs again. I'll allow it. And then I think what I probably want to do is kind of micromanage Fort Monroe and help them get their power online a little bit better. Slash maybe get another recruit um, to go south. Oh, look. Oh, yeah, farm traders. Oh, cool. Actually, you know what? That actually is a good thing for me. I'm pretty sure that they'll have something that I'm interested in here. I think I want hemp. I'm almost positive that I want a lot of hemp because uh, because we want to have some fabric production in here. Um, let's see. Also, I think we got red main right here. Yep, that looks good. I think. And I think that that's all their hemp. I don't think we want anything else. Um, and there is a lot of sake that basically Jack's like constantly producing sake at this point. And as soon as the green fruit is ready, then we'll actually have some food for uh, Pet up there. No, I still can't stand. Oh, you're actually, yeah, you're even more hungry now. Um, I got half a mind to go attack those Garu over there, or send Silas out to go find some food. We'll keep an eye on Pet. I'm pretty sure that the green fruit will be ready before Pet actually starves to death. But I'm also not 100% positive on that. Oh, also put that back on. And then maybe we should look at doing some hydroponic uh, rice weed on the, on the roof. Or not rice weed, a hydroponic hemp. That's what we, we need right now. Oh great, we're going to have a bunch of weeds growing out outside of our little sacrificial enlightenment chamber that sends people to a higher existence of cybernetics. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh man, I, I miss you guys. I really do. Like Bannerlord, I've been enjoying playing it a ton. But like Kenshi, I can just kind of think while I'm playing it, you know, like it, it slows down enough for me to be able to do that without feeling like I'm messing up, you know. Uh, do we have iron plates? We do, actually. Maybe I want to upgrade that. I think that we have all the materials for upgrading that. So let's upgrade that. And then speaking of which, why don't we go back to here? And have a look at things um, in terms of our supplies. I'm pretty sure that I, I had, I thought I had copper here, because Igor brought a ton of copper to here. Are they engineering? They're building things. Okay, so they're working on the iron plates for these uh, power things. Hey, look, we're getting a good chunk of our way back towards the power. Um, I do think that. To fully recover, we're gonna need more fuel though. And we need more hemp to do that. And we don't really have the hemp right now, it looks like. Um, where did we end up growing the hemp? The hemp was like right here, right? Oh, these all need water. It's it's a vicious cycle, right? We might just wanna ship water over to break the cycle. That might actually be all that we need. I'm pretty sure that once we get a few more of these things up and running, we'll be fine. Yeah, I think if we get this other one, then we'll be golden. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. We do have the possibility to get more cybernetics in this episode. If we go back to, like, Mongrel and we sell our, um, our 
grog, you know? Oh, so by the way, I'm an idiot because I didn't realize that, um, you know, like in bars, how people drink hooch? Did you know that that's like a euphemism for, like, someone's, uh, anus? <laughs> like, for real. I had no idea. I mean, it kind of makes sense, like, oh, that tastes like, you know, hooch. It's like, oh god, that's awful. Um, you know, because it, it's not made to taste good, it's just made to get you drunk in there, right? They just throw in stuff that will ferment. It's just like the, an insane thing, too, by the way, that people are just like growing and fermenting bags. There's just stuff rotting in a bag, and then they'll go drink it. Like, oh my god. I know, like, desperate times call for desperate measures, but that is just so gross. Like, so gross. No wonder it's got the name that it does, you know? It's very aptly named. So yeah, Jazz, he's been bankrolling us, basically, um, selling this grog. I think in the last episode we were kind of doing this as well, so you're probably pretty familiar with the routine of just sending him over here. Um, you know, I was thinking, like, maybe I don't record this, because it is a, a little bit more of what we've done, but I, I'm, I want to talk to people and get some comments from, like, um, like, Blake or TIC or, you know, my Kenshi people that I haven't heard from in a while. Okay, yeah, I think that that's pretty good. We should probably send Jazz back. And then Redman, you could probably go pick up another like two cybernetics, but I don't know. I think we might want to just leave people here to to work on things as as it uh, comes available. Did we not get enough hemp? I don't think we got enough hemp, guys. Bad news. That's just gonna like starve on the floor. And at least we they could starve on a bed if we had like hemp to make uh, fabric and stuff. Come on, there has to be water here. No way. Uh, actually, it looks like there is no water. It's a shame. Do these have multiple waters by chance? They do not. I guess... Oh, there's water right there. Can I just do a little uh, magic there? Perfect. And hey, it's growing! Yeah, it's... If you haven't got enough water to uh, grow the food, maybe you shouldn't be using it to brew. You know, it's all I'm saying. All I'm saying there, Jack. But, you know, I don't know Jack. Oh, look, um, Silas, you've got engineering. Why are you not engineering? Go build this thing. I don't know why I turned off engineering for you. Go build it. Ow. Be a good hiver. Don't no. I need to. I really need to move this. This is super annoying. Like every couple people that walk by get stuck on that. I swear. But I've seen. Yeah. So we will actually have some fabric production here, but that's gonna take away from our water in our place. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's really right now. It's all about generating money and checking the stores often enough. Redmain can and probably should be back at uh, the store to go pick up the cybernetics. Where are you, Redmain? You're right here. Okay. So we'll just send him back up there. Nope, never mind. He's um, stuck. Okay, there we go. Get you back over there. You and Jazz are on the move right now. And apparently Hydro Farmer, he's getting attacked, so... Maybe, um... Careful, careful what's going on here. Oh, it's a Bone Dog. Oh, do you not have a Weapon Motorist 3 there? It looks like you don't have a sword or anything. You poor dude. Yeah, he's... He's not got a weapon. Or a left arm. Man. Is anyone gonna heal you? Yeah, let's heal up poor motors three. I feel bad. I just not only have I been starving you, but I haven't even given you any means to protect yourself. 
tell you what, you get that then. Please don't just randomly get one shot when a raid comes by. Because that would make me feel real silly. Um, we want that. I think we want that. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we'll... I wanted to get, like... I might just take the whole Fort Monroe and death mar march them straight down here and as people fall like either just disband them or i don't know leave them to die and then just keep on moving i figured you know that would be kind of a, an epic way to end end the season if you think uh you've got a better idea on how to end it let me know because i'm pretty sure that that's that's how it's going to go down but i'm i'm open to hearing other ideas as well at the same time um hand over your food uh what's this hungry bandits really really okay um guys if you can could you get outside for this we gotta just destroy a, a bunch of peasants um, I am a little bit nervous because Trill is hurt and is already unconscious. Yeah, that's what happens when you do emergency surgery in the wasteland. But I mean, we still are doing like hundreds of damage to these people, so I'm not too worried. Um, Jack, what happened to your right leg there? Um, looks like it's fine. It just got hurt a little bit. It's a good thing that we're going to be making more fabric here because, uh, yeah, we may need it by the looks of things. <laughs> Let's get Trill off the floor. And then how's our water? Yeah, this really does bother me how the game does this. Like there's a crop that we have right there. Please use the water right wisely. And also, I know these guys are hungry bandits, but this is when it's like, come on, Kenji, pet needs something to eat. Can I eat one of them, please? Just like, ignore morality for a little bit. Which is also kind of a weird thing if you think about it, how we depict cannibalism as amoral and evil and awful, and it's like, there's tons of cultures around the world where they've done that, and it's been totally like a part of their culture and like normal and it's like wait we're basically saying that those cultures are evil for doing that i mean i'm not saying that cannibals are not scary they're scary to me i'm just saying you know they're not doing it to be evil a lot of the time like there's whole cultures that do it for like honoring their ancestors like they'll eat their ancestors to honor them you know there's like tons of pretty cool stuff that kind of goes down that whole path I think this place, if I can, we need another well. Um, that might be asking too much. We got that many materials. I'm gonna go with like just um, a well two for now, and we'll upgrade it if we can. I just don't think we got the materials to do otherwise. I think even right now we don't have the materials to get it fully upgraded, unfortunately. Um. Yeah, well, at least Silas got some actual uh, fighting experience, you know? I mean, it was against, like, the lowliest of units that this game can offer, but it was something. Um, let's see. Anything else I wanted to do? I mean, I think we need to do another copper run. Um, and we really should send someone who has the right backpack for that. Which would be Tanishi. Tanishi, where are you right now? How fast are you right now? 27 miles per hour. That's uh, not the speed that I'm, I was hoping for. Can we trade with Benedict? Because I think I would like Benedict to take your backpack. And um, make a run for that other place. Let's take that, and you can take that. And I don't know why you're carrying around Maurice still. You probably put him in a bed a while ago. 
and then we'll have you go to a copper mine and go bring us back some more copper because oh look we have enough power now I was gonna say we might need to build another one of these but it looks like the we're good so that means that we should be producing everything at normal rates um, which means um, to go with that that we can probably start upgrading some of these things how many building materials do I have is that gonna be my limiting factor no I've got tons um, what about I've only got a couple iron plates as of right now, but they're going to start getting made, being made faster, so I think that will be okay. So yeah, let's, uh, let's upgrade at just one for now, and I'm probably going to, at the, in between episodes, produce more of that, so that I can finally, finally, stop micromanaging this place. Um, yeah, I think that that's pretty much it. Uh, I... I don't think we're going to be doing this like once every three days. I might be kind of throwing in Cataclysm and Caves of Cud and a couple other things um, sporadically while I'm playing Bannerlord just to keep you up to date. Like, I think you should expect Kanchi around once every three days. Maybe a little bit less frequent um, once I stop finding things to do tutorials on for Bannerlord, then I might bring this back uh, in a more regular capacity and alternate with the third slot. We'll see, though. In any case, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.